Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to disable Adobe Genuine Software Integrity Service Alert. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, if you're having this issue here where they pop up, where in this case, there are a few things that you can do here to probably solve this issue. Well, the first thing you want to do here is you want to make sure that the program itself is actually not running. So in this case, you want to go ahead and look for task manager. So you could either press control shift escape on your keyboard and the task manager should open up. Now you could also click on the magnifying glass at the bottom left here or the search uh, section. Just basically type in task manager. Now in this case, you want to go ahead and open it up and you want to go ahead and look for a specific app. Now, by the way, if you don't see the same UI I'm looking right now, you could go ahead and click on the more details option here and that should actually span that. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to look for Adobe Genuine so Software Client. So typically, it's going to be under background processes. So it's going to exactly say Adobe Genuine Software. Now, in this case, you want to go ahead and right click on it and basically click on end task. Now, in this case, once you've done that, what we need to do next is we need to go ahead and basically uninstall the actual app. In this case, for you to do that, you need to go to the bottom left here and you want to go ahead and just type in control panel. Now we want to install this via control panel because you are uh, in this case you will only be able to actually install it via this uh way in this case you want to go to programs here click on uninstall a program and from here you want to look for adobe Genuine software client like what i said before now in this case you could go ahead and look for it so we have it in here and from here let's go ahead and right click on it click on uninstall it's going to ask you if you want to allow it just click on yes and from here, it's going to ask you if you want to really uninstall it. So just click on the uh, uninstall option that you see on your screen if you do see the pop-up. Now from here, you just need to wait for it to fully uninstall. Now in this case, I'll just wait for it. So let's just wait for a little bit here. And as you can see right now, we've just uninstalled the actual program. Now what we need to do next here is we just need to close our program features here. And you want to go ahead and close everything on your desktop here, restart your PC, and that should solve your problem. And that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.